I race definitely like a kamikaze style. Literally crush people before the race even started. And I'd keep pushing and pushing to the point of literally not finishing races. So I had a tendency to actually sometimes like collapse because I would run too hard. In 2014, I had one of my best marathoning years ever. The 10 years of training that I've had behind me allows me to make really good transitions between the track and the marathon. But I felt like something was missing. I decided that I wasn't going to be fully prepared under that coaching system. And to really dive into the marathon, I needed a really good endurance coach. Not a lot of people can say that they do this. And I kind of see it as like a privilege. The cookbook project, we were talking about runners sometimes had some of the worst diets we'd ever seen. I genuinely enjoy getting in the kitchen. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I eat this literally before like every long run and marathon as well, so. I believe we're close to eight weeks out from the Olympic trials and all the hard work is starting to like culminate right now pushing myself to attain a level of fitness that will be really competitive for the top three. I always think about when I'm running it, how many people have run up and down this road. It's all about just building the best Shalane that I can build right now and being the fittest I can be. She works her ass off and she does it in such a smart way. Yeah, it's a pretty good quality run. So I think we were averaging 6.30ish a mile. That's a pretty solid long run for me right now. It's about getting myself to that next level that's going to be good enough to be on the team to go to Rio. She's like right at that line, she knows exactly where it is, and she works there every single day. I just never believe in, you know, kind of settling for anything. It's crazy how things work out.